like I said, like, not even, like, a minute ago, I'm back with a new video, um, because I had a rant in the back of my mind, and if I didn't just, like, do it now, I'll forget about it. Why is nail polish and makeup so ungodly priced? I'm not even kidding. I went to Walgreens, or CVS today, to, um, pick up some medicine, and, uh, I, I noticed, <laughs> I found this really, really cute nail polish, it's like, orange and glittery, with, like, it has, like, copper in it, and it's green, and red, and purple, and blue, and, and like, really, really pretty, very festive, very thanksgiving -y looking, and I really, really wanted it. Well, I look at the, um, brand, I didn't recognize it, so I looked at the price, nine dollars for this bottle of nail polish, like, is there like this big of a bottle, like not not really that big, you know, like your average kind of I guess like OPI. It's like, smaller than um, smaller than ice. It's like, smaller than the ice brand. Very, very small. It's the Kim Kardashian or the Kardashian sisters um, nail polish. Ten dollars approximately. It's like an eight dollar bottle and oh my god, like why is that so expensive? It cannot be that expensive to make. Because I walked down, not even, if I walked over an aisle onto the side aisle, you know, right on the side of the aisle, and saw a bottle for nail polish. Orange glittery nail, gold glittery nail polish, or orange, and it was $1.99. $1.99! $1 Pretty much the exact same price as the I would have got it had it had the right look to it, but it didn't. Kim Kardashian was what I needed. I needed the Kardashian nail polish, and I did not get it because it was ten dollars. Um, I probably will break down and get it though because I have a really, really cute nail idea that I want to do for Thanksgiving. Because I, you know, I, I don't know why, but I feel like dressing up for Thanksgiving. You know, I got like a really cute red scarf I want to wear. Um, like a sweater and look cute in general. And uh I want to do really pretty festive nails. And <laughs> just ten dollars for a bottle of nail polish is outrageous. I think six dollars is asking a bit much. Like the Insta Dry nail polish it's like and it might be five dollars. I'm not sure like five, six dollars for a bottle of Insta Dry. Which I will say that Insta Dry is worth it because it goes on very, very well. It's not a very sheer, so you don't have to keep applying like seven, eight layers to see it. You do one, maybe two layers just for that comfort, and it's good and it dries really, really fast. So, Insta Dry is worth the money for the, the outrageous price of nail polish. It's worth it. I don't know about OPI. I don't really check brands. This isn't brand rating. I'm not doing like brand comparison. But what is with that? Why do they have to charge so much? I mean, okay. These girls, the whole family is rich. Why do they need to charge eight dollars for a bottle of nail polish that they could easily sell for five dollars and sell way more because of the lower price and still make a huge profit off of it and still be rich? Really, seriously, why do that? If ever I get filthy, stinking rich and have my own line or something, I'm not. I wouldn't charge, you know, like, an insane amount for it, like, okay, say, like, okay, going off of what I said at the beginning, nail polish and makeup, that's what I'm going to try to hone in on, which, bear with me, may not happen, the lip, lip glosses that are this big, you know, this tall, really, really skinny, like, you know, this skinny, really tall, and there's, like, that much gloss in it, like, that much cast, <laughs> Why are those like twelve dollars, twelve twenty dollars? Like seriously, they don't even. I guess they do last a long time. If you don't, like I don't apply a lot of lip gloss. I used to. I have one bottle of lip gloss that I really, really like, and it was when Twilight first came out, and they had the um, Edward and um, Jacob lip glosses, and I got the Jacob. It was really pretty as a cover. It's my favorite lip gloss. It's really, really nice. But, um, I got that like four, five years ago, maybe. And I still have that one bottle. 
I don't apply lip gloss very often, but I have a lot of lip gloss. I have a lot of lipstick, but it's like all that is so out of beauty price. Foundation that'll last you. Wait, if you use a lot of foundation and you last you six months, um, if that, and they charge you like twenty bucks, if not more for that, it's it's outrageous the price. It's not all actually. I'm like, I understand that you gotta make a profit off of what you're selling, but you know what I mean? Like, that's why people keep stealing. Really, like, I know people, like, I know personally people who will go out to big name brand places like Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Kroger's, like, Kohl's, all those places, and they will jack the lipstick, they will jack the makeup. You know, jewelry, nail polish, um, name brand products because it's so average the price. And I know that's why they charge more is because people won't steal it, but people won't steal it if you don't make it so expensive. Really? Really people? I mean, maybe this is just like my one sided view and maybe I need to have the in like the inside view of saying, Okay, well this is why we have to charge so much and I understand you gotta charge the cost of making it, the cost of the product, and all that, but really, dude, like, is it really that expensive to get dye and fish scales, fish wax, whatever it is to make lipstick? I, I don't think it, I don't think it costs that much, because a lot of lipsticks will dry out really fast, and they, like, fade and absorb into your lips, so the color doesn't stay that long, and you constantly have to keep reapplying, which is not cool, let me tell you that, it's not cool. And if you get the time that you have to like put a coat on and it sticks, that shit's going to dry out your lips hardcore and it won't come off. Like you have to peel the skin off your lips to get them off. Like use baby oil or something and I don't know about you, but I don't want to be using like a lot of products to be taking one thing off. Like, for like you know, you have to, like, you have to keep reapplying lipstick. Like why charge twelve dollars for that? Really, like for the way people go through lipstick, like I think the longest I have ever made my own to the lipstick last, I still have it. <laughs> I mean, I do have it for a, I do get nail polish and not nail polish but lipstick, and they will last me a long time. That's because I don't wear makeup very often. I'll go through stages when I'll use makeup. It's more of eyeshadows. Eyeshadows I go through a lot. I used to go, like, I used to burn through, um, burn, like, the, uh, the Hot Topic brand eyeshadows, the Hot Topic brand eyeliners and all that, like, the, the $1.99 eyeliners. I love those. I love how you can get eyeliners that work really, really well, and they're going to go on, and they go on smooth. I love those kind of eyeliners. I got one, and I'll have to show it at some point. I'm probably going to do a video at some point for um, all my makeup, which will be a thing in the video. Because um, I have a lot of makeup, and I've even given away a lot of my makeup. Um, but um, I have a little silver my Broly tube of eyeliner and I don't think it cost me more than two dollars to get and it was worth that's that's the kind of eyeliner I would easily pay five dollars for because it's it's worth the price. It's an awesome product. But um like I said I'm not doing comparison. I'm just ranting about prices. Like why do they have to be so expensive? And perfume, so I I can't help I'm looking over at perfume. I'm not gonna turn the camera because there's a mess but looking over at a bottle of perfume and I think I got it for twenty dollars which was an amazing price for this perfume. Okay now I'm gonna show you. Twenty dollars for a big bottle versus twenty dollars for a small bottle. Let me show you this. Okay. Both of these bottles were approximately twenty dollars for there's this one. Still full. Like, it's still way up here. Like, I don't think you can even really see the line very well, but it's still full. It's like up to here still. I love this. It smells so good. Oh, 
smells amazing. But um, this is, I don't know if you, where you lady have a Maurice's store, but this is one of the Maurice's scents. I can't remember which one. This bottle cost me approximately $20. Um, I'm not really sure if that's a fact, but about $20 for this bottle. Huge bottle. Smells awesome. Really pretty glass. I don't know if you can really see the coloring, but it's and it was like pink and then purple and blue and green and then like yeah it stops like green it's so so pretty like it's really really pretty twenty dollars plus it has a cute little plastic top like how high that's so cute and then there's this this bottle is of um Okay, this is like fifteen dollars. I'm sorry, fifteen dollars for this. So about twenty dollars for the big bottle, which is in my mom's bathroom. Britney Spears. Um, I think this is Circus. Granted, it does smell awesome. It's really, really sweet. Very kind of like cotton candy. It smells really good. But you know, it's like most of the pricing goes into the design of the bottle. Like, yeah. It, these like little fake gems all over it which the cute bottle is for the eye feel but don't you buy something like you buy perfumes and stuff for the smell $15 for this $20 for this look at the size difference it's like the amount of fluid that's inside like the actual amount of perfume that's inside of this is insane compared to this like I probably used about the same amount of perfume out of both of these bottles combined. Like, this is about halfway empty. I don't know if you can see it, but the line goes down to here. Um, this one, like I said, it's like still up to here. It's like trying to hold up the line. Okay, you can see it. Yeah, like, like yeah, there's the line. He's holding it even, or attempting to hold it even. I don't know. Somewhere, like right up in this area. Still at the very top about halfway, you know, right on here. It's just it's crazy. I've used about the same amount of these perfumes. I'll be done with this like 15 times faster because they charge so much for this little bottle. I didn't pay for it. It was a gift. Um, <laughs> one of my friends got it for me because she saw me eyeing it down. So. Try to run away and make a point. And if I don't like the price, why do I have it? But, like, so many stuff like that, like, insane prices that don't even make sense. Like, I have a lot of nail polish, and I remember that I went out like, t earlier today looking at nail polish, and I saw nail polish that was ranging from prices of, like, $1.99 up to the $9 about the same, almost the exact same look. The only difference was the amount of glitter versus and the shape of the bottle, the name. That's, that's it. <laughs> it's like, why can't it all be cheap? And then makeup, like L'Oreal makeup and Garnier. I don't, I don't know if Garnier has makeup. I don't know. It may or may not. CoverGirl. CoverGirl is really expensive. And like Maybelline, that's expensive. I like the uh, the London look, whatever. I don't know what the uh, London look is. I think it's Maybelline. I'm not sure, but makeup, nail polish, all that stuff is outrageously priced. Perfume is outrageously priced. America is outrageously priced. Everything is outrageously priced. Money costs too much. Um, so yeah, there's there's my opinion on that. Um, yeah. Now to get off of here and continue watching Saturday because I think I'm done with this rant. So, 15 minutes in <laughs> for a two topic that branched off into like 15 topics, which is normal for me. Bye guys.